FRS V3 full kit without duckbill and with a GT wing. And I'm sure if you guys know anything about these cars, you can probably guess what this is, especially going off of this sticker here. All right. Your trophy, sir. Thanks. All of this area, all this is just about to get cut out. Wait, so it's got a, it's got a wing? Oh boy, does it have a wing. What's up guys? In the free time whenever I'm not working on cars, I really enjoy playing games. So today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. After playing Raid Shadow Legends, I will be honest, I was very, very impressed to see that this is honestly a console level experience, but on your phone. Explore millions of champion combinations and master countless tactics as you take on raid bosses, dungeon runs, campaign battles, and PvP arena matches. With hundreds of artifacts to equip and over 500 champions blessed with unique skill you could build your team, develop your champions, and raid your way. I've been playing raid for a good minute now, and these are some of my favorite champions. First up is Tormund the Cold. He is a dwarf with ice armor and a double-handed hammer. Also, check out Harvest Jack. This dude looks pretty freaking crazy, plus he has one of the highest health pools out of the entire game. Compared to a lot of mobile games, these graphics are actually not too bad. Very, very top tier for sure. I think my favorite part about this is that it's really nice that it's turn-based gameplay. It gives you a lot of time to be able to think out each thing that you want to do and then make the most effective move based on that. One thing about this game is that it actually gets harder the further along that you play, so it's really rewarding once you start to really get good at the game. Not only that, but there is a couple of really cool things going on in the game right now that have not really been done before. This is Raid's two-year anniversary, so they've got a lot of new tournaments and things like that going on. If you move quickly, you might still be able to catch some of those special events and get your hands on some of the free gifts and rewards. You might also still be able to get involved in the very first ever clan versus clan tournament and get a chance to compete directly against another clan. Raid also just now launched their first batch of Shadowkin faction. With that, there's a lot of champions that are all based around traditional Asian folklore, so that's pretty cool. Another cool thing that they've added is they've now got a new Doom Tower rotation with two new bosses, and they look pretty wicked. And that is happening right now, this month, so make sure you guys hop on pretty quick before you miss out. I know there is a lot of cool parts that I've been talking about, but seriously, you need to go see them for yourself. Click the link down below, and if you want to get a head start and you're a new player, Using that link, you'll get your first epic champion, Jotun. Not only that, you'll get 100k silver, 50 gems, and three ancient shards to summon more champions. With all that being said, click the link down below, go download the game, give it a shot, let me know what you think. But now, back to today's video. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be working on the FRS yet again. <sighs> the last time that we had a video with this car, I told you guys that we were taking off the wide body fenders, we were taking them to go get painted, and we were getting ready to put them back on the car. And that is why the car looks like this. We got everything prepped and ready to get the wide body kit back. I was really excited for it because it was gonna look really great and it was gonna be pretty cheap and simple. <sighs> well, um, as you guys probably know how things go with me, it was not cheap, nor was it simple, and it was very full of complications. And I'm gonna tell you guys why. So when we got the wide body fender flares off last week, I took them down the road and my guys down the road were gonna take them to go get painted. Well, on the way to go get painted, they actually got ran off the interstate by an 18 wheeler which led to them in a ditch thank the lord they're okay so i'm not too upset about the whole ordeal but in the midst of them doing that uh the parts were in the back of the truck and ended up in the interstate and ended up getting ran over by a bunch of cars and so i was kind of stressed out and had no idea what to do and the only reason why is because the wide body kit that was on this car is out of stock literally every single place. It is incredibly hard to find. And not only that, the only wide body kit that I would really truly want to replace this kit with would be a Rocket Bunny kit. But unfortunately, the Rocket Bunny kits are imported from Japan, I believe, and are extremely, extremely hard to find. So we call around everywhere because I was panicking at this point because this is how the car looks. I can't leave it like this. What am I gonna do, right? I was freaking out, not knowing what to do. Uh, I went and read and it turns out that if you wanted to order a Rocket Bunny kit, you have to wait wait 12 weeks for production before it even ships out of Japan. Then you gotta wait for it to go through customs. It turns into be like a four to five month process and we definitely do not have that kind of timeline with this car. So <laughs> this is how lucky I got. In the worst situation ever, it turns out that Greddy had one, and I mean one, wide body kit 
for this car in stock in California. $6,000 later, I bought it and here it is. And yes, I actually do mean that $6,000 is <sighs> how much this wide body kit was. And this was not supposed to get bought. It was gonna be $300 to get my other fenders painted. And uh, those got ruined and somehow now I am $6,000 in the hole. But the reason why it is $6,000 is because this is not your average everyday run of the mill wide body kit at all actually. If you check this out, Made in Japan, FRS V3 full kit without duckbill and with a GT wing. And I'm sure if you guys know anything about these cars, you can probably guess what this is, especially going off of this sticker here. So yeah, uh, I don't really know how else to reveal it. This is the best way. We are today test fitting the FRS's new Pandem V3 Rocket Bunny kit. And uh, I haven't gotten to see this thing anywhere else but in pictures. And we're about to unbox this thing and check it out because it looks freaking crazy online. And I never would have thought that we would have ever been doing anything like this on this channel, but here we are. So today, the goal is to get this car at least prepped and ready enough to where we can get the wide body kit test fit on there. But first, let's get this wide body kit unboxed and checking everything out because there's a lot of stuff in this kit, I believe. I'm honestly pretty excited about this. I never would have thought that I'd be excited about anything like this, but truly this is something that, God, I say this so much, but this is something truly that I've really wanted to do since I first got into the car scene. <laughs> the guys that truly know me and have known me for a long time remember me with my 370. And that honestly is like the true car enthusiast version of myself. I am a ricer at heart, that's just how I am. And so I haven't really gotten to let those colors shine because as honest as I can be with you guys, I've never been able to afford to wide body a car, period. Um, much less afford to wide body this new of a car, much less afford to wide body this new of a car with a kit like this. So this is pretty freaking cool. This is like a dream being satisfied today. So let's get this shit opened up. Oh, oh shit! The Whoa. tease. <laughs> Whoa! This is the sickest yeah. wide body kit I've ever seen. Shout out to, uh, who was it? I think it was TJ Hunt, huh? Who did one of these on the FRS. Yeah, I think it's the same one. Oh, oh bro, stickers little... and key yeah. tags. Oh, they did give key tags. Hell, oh, what? Hold up. Bro, actually, whoever wins this car, here you go. Oh, wait. <laughs> 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 Oops. These are some solid pieces. I would hope I so. Hope so. All right, so this is the FRS's new front lip. It appears this is really pretty solid product. This definitely looks like it's a fender. I wish y'all could have seen the look on my face whenever Luke and Hayden called me and they were like, hey, so all of the body kit just got straight up destroyed. <laughs> I was like, I can hear exactly how he would say that too. I remember your face. Yeah, that was not at all what I was expecting to get a phone call about. Something would have this stakes on. Ready? We weren't even trying to get this one either. We were gonna get the cheaper one so that way we could just get it all back together. But they just didn't even have any of the other ones in stock. This was the only kit. It was like, we might have another shipment of some coming in and like, six weeks if you wanna wait till then. I was like, no, no, actually I'm gonna take that one right now. That's gonna look pretty solid. Yeah. Oh, oh my God, that's so cool. Man, this car's gonna look wide. It is, it's just gonna- Take a lot to get there. It's gonna take a whole lot. I think these go under the back one. So there's one at the bottom, there's another one, and then there's a third one that goes right here. All right, moment of truth, part, whatever. We're gonna test the rear fender now. Please cover everything. Wow, it does not. My biggest concern through all of this is that it was not gonna cover up these holes, and it sure is does not that was from the beginning my biggest chief concern all right guys <laughs> like literally an hour later or so i think it took about an hour to get everything unboxed but we got every piece unboxed and this thing looks pretty freaking cool there is pieces all over the place it's going to be a lot of work but not to worry luckily they included some instructions so we got a nice little instruction manual that we're going to read here in a second but first we need to get this car up on the lift so that way we got access to everything um, whenever we started test fitting it you can see where we're already having problems uh, we're touching right there for sure if you can't see all the scratches, but I think with this new kit We're gonna actually cut from here down uh, to about right there So it's gonna be a lot different, but uh, I think we can figure it out It's kind of our only option at this point So the one thing that does suck is that we did put the fenders on the back and it does not appear like the fenders are covering up the previous holes So back here where the previous wide body was these four or five holes that are going down there that were pre-drilled Actually are not covered with our new wide body. So that is gonna be I think the biggest complication here is that we're gonna have to figure out how to fill these in, probably with Bondo, which means that unfortunately we are not gonna be able to go with the red paint 
paint that is on the car because we're gonna have to do some kind of wrap on it. Which means it's kind of like we're back to square one. <laughs> We got the car with plans to wrap it. Uh, then we found out that we were probably gonna be able to save the body kit and get it repainted and make it all look sick. That didn't work either. Then we had to spend another $6,000 to get this new kit here. Um, but the cool thing is that we do have a GT wing in there, which means that we're gonna have a just enormous wing off the back, but we're not gonna be able to use our factory, or not our factory, but our carbon fiber trunk here. We're actually gonna have to put the factory trunk back on so that we can mount it to that. But we'll do that later on. Today, the main goal is we're gonna get this car up on the lift, try to get some more stuff cut out, and hopefully by the end of this video, we will at least be able to test fit the body panels onto the car and see how it's gonna at least roughly look and then we need to pick out wrap color and I don't know how, but we're gonna have to figure out how to get this thing wrapped. So Justin, um, please. <laughs> Anyways, let's get this thing up on the lift. All right, so step one, the first thing that I'm gonna try and do just to start diving straight in is pulling off this bumper. So I need to figure out what all is on here, holding the bumper on. It looks like literally almost nothing. Time to start pulling stuff apart. Darnell? Yeah. Oh my fucking angel. You came just in time. Just hold it up in place real quick. I gotta pull these last little push pins out and I got it ready to come off. Okay, that's it, huh? Yep, that's all good. Hell yeah. All go. right. Your trophy, sir. Thanks. Damn. Did you need that for any reason? No, I didn't. <laughs> You're like, oh shit, maybe that was. <laughs> <laughs> Now, we got everything taken off of the front. This is the part where I tell you guys I got one more surprise for you. So Daniel actually hooked this up and set this up. Hey, you know what's pretty cool? Huh? Whenever you go to the retrofitsource.com and you use the code, it's just a sick <laughs> checkout. You don't have to use one of these things to open your boxes because you get a free custom, I think it's custom, pocket knife to open your packages with. Whoa, for real? Ain't that cool. I didn't even know that. That's actually not a bad deal. Like Daniel said, guys, this is sponsored by the Retrofit Source and also by Morimoto. So we've got some new headlights in for the FRS. Morimoto is the same headlights that we use on all the Mustangs. It's the same lighting that we use on a lot of stuff. And I didn't even know that they made headlights for this car, but Daniel showed them to me and I was mind blown. And so these are aftermarket headlights already. I'm just not a huge fan of them. These are way, way better. All right, let's open them up. Oh, 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 oh. oh, speaking of the knife. Oh, is that it? <laughs> That's the knife. Hey. <laughs> wow. Oh, those are nice. Whoa, dude. Those look way better. Holy oh, sh Wow. Man. So as you guys see, our stock lights, well, not even stock lights, our previous lights are in here. These are so, so much nicer though. We got two more knives. Oh, hell Three yeah. Total. We're gonna get these put in at some point, hopefully soon. I just wanted to show you guys, I was really planning on putting them in, but Daniel was worried that they were gonna get scratched up during our whole wide body thing. And I also agree, those are really nice. I don't want them to get scratched. So we're just gonna lay these back in the box, move them out of the way, and we'll keep them over here with the rest of the body pieces. That way when we get done with everything, we'll get those installed. Got the bumper off. Let's try and test fit this front bumper and see what it's even gonna look like. You're gonna have to get rid of this bumper tab over here. All this has to get unbolted and taken off. Okay, I'll tell you what, let's just take it off and we'll open up the instructions and I'll start doing a read. Let's see. Wow. Instructions are online. Beautiful. No, this is the instructions. It is two pages. The first page says kind of where to cut. The next page says Install. step one, attach front. Step two, connect front fender and side and rear fender. Step three, attach front fender and side and rear fender. And that's it. <laughs> okay, so that's not bad. It looks like we're at least in spec on the front cut that we cut. And now on the rear, we need 25 centimeters. So let's see where we're cut at right now. We are cut at about 11, no, about 10 inches or so. So actually that's, it. wow, wow, that is beautiful. Five centimeters is how many inches? It's 2.54 per inch, I just can't remember. Divided by 2.5, okay, so it's like two inches. Wow, that's gonna be scary. So. 
That is a whole lot to cut, actually. So we're gonna cut from, I'm gonna, this is horrible, but I'm just gonna do this. We're just gonna mark it like that. All of this area, all this is just about to get cut out. Next thing that we can go ahead and probably do is take out all these rubber washers, rubber grommet things. Working on a weekend like usual. Oh, they super glued this one too here. Yes. Okay, I just wanna hang this up again real quick and see now that I remove that tab, if we can see where it's supposed to mount to. I also think that this crash bar protector, yeah. A little bit of awkward fitment. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, it's because we don't have it under the bottom. Hmm. I feel like that bottom piece would have to come off. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, so it's not fitting exactly how we wanted it to and our instructions for this kit are very limited. <laughs> <laughs> so this looks like it's gonna be a, well, a lot of figuring out. <sighs> you just gotta like almost break it off. I know. That's what I had to do on this side. <laughs> you can do it, Darnell. This one's in there. Daniel versus a plastic push pin. Who wins? Got it. Daniel, Daniel got it. All right, woo! Let's give it another shot. So it's actually hitting the crash support itself. The crash support has to come off. Oh. So the problem that we're having right now is trying to fit the front bumper. We're actually hitting this crash support. And so what I think we're gonna have to do is cut off the ends back here. This isn't getting any easier. The more that we get into it, this is just becoming a- Harder and harder. Yeah. <sighs> Try to relax and let me find a Sharpie and we'll mark some spots that we need to cut. I feel like Dory right now. Yes, just keep swimming. swimming, just keep yes, swimming. swimming. But anyway, I need to mark a line from here pretty much all the way down to where we're about to have to cut. So, so it's gonna be to about out there. I'm gonna try and actually cut a curve, if that makes sense. Yeah. So that way I can follow the line of the door. All right, and Pop a line down to here. And let me see if I can draw some kind of a curved line again. About there. Yep. Nice. <laughs> I've really never cut a car up this much. Oh shit, all right. Here we go, cut them up. <laughs> oh, yes. Corner number two is cut. Oh, yes. This is where the fun's gonna start. <laughs> okay, can you hold this up for just a second? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cut an ugly line straight to the side just to get rid of this whole fender. Well, <laughs> got the majority of this piece that we needed to remove out of the way. Now we've got access to see basically how I wanna shape this to look the prettiest. My goal is really to salvage, at least as best as I can, this fender liner and this fender liner mount at the bottom, and that's why I didn't want to cut all the way through first off. That way, hopefully, we've still got somewhere that we can mount our fender liner to, because I do want to keep it in here. We'll probably just have to trim the liner back, unfortunately, back to about here, maybe, somewhere. Trim it back a few inches. But so far, not too bad. There we go. <laughs> yes. And now you can see how far it tucks back. So. What it's gonna do now is we're actually, I, now that I'm seeing it, we're gonna have to pull this fender liner back even more uh, and get rid of all of this. But this is what's gonna be left. So that looks freaking incredible. This is actually coming along pretty nice. This is not bad at all. I really like the redesign of this inner side because whenever the wheel is straight, you can actually, from the back, you can see like half of the tread. So this is gonna look pretty sick, actually. Oh wait, whoa, 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 wait, actually. I just now remember we cut the front out. So let's test fit the front too. Yes, yes, yes. it actually clears. Nope. There it is. Holy shit. That thing's wide. Really All wide. right. Now it's starting oh to God. see. I can start to see it. Ooh. That's pretty. Uh, okay. Boy. This is about to look great, dude. Yeah, it is. I would hope so for six grand. I'm getting more and more excited. I was really discouraged, to be honest, because of how bad of an ordeal this has really turned into be. But just being able to see just a, a 
glimmer of what the final product is possibly going to look like gives me so much more hope. Oh my god. Um, yo. <laughs> so we're going to tape this up real quickly for you guys so that way you can see and also us so I can see what this thing is really going to truly look like. At least so we can get an idea for the body lines and we'll get at least the shape. We'll get to see an overall shape of the car for the first time. Oh, yep. you can really get, keep, stay right there for a second. You can really get an idea of what this thing is about to start looking like. Uh, yeah. And imagine the wing. Wait, so it's got a, it's got a wing? Oh boy, does it have a wing. Did you take that out yet? No. <laughs> I'm gonna let that one be a little surprise for people whenever they see that thing. We're gonna have to put the stock trunk back on. The wing was almost more expensive than the entire body kit was. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. The next steps really are gonna be the rear and the rear should be pretty straightforward and simple. Actually, Daniel, you wanna bolt the rears on or tape it on real quick? Yeah, sure. We can, I mean, we can fit the rears on right now as is. Hopefully that holds and works. Yeah. Nope, that's gonna fall. Okay. Well, okay. it now you guys can see pretty much the entire front end assembled uh minus the front lip so let me grab the front lip and i'll hold it under there so that you guys can see that how does that look from back that's that's pretty yep i think it looks pretty sick yeah i i yep it definitely brings the front the together. the lip is definitely it oh yeah actually that completes it oh very oh. easily Shit, dude. Well, there we go. We've got both fenders cut. We've got the front over fenders on. Even the front bumper finally is on now that we trimmed up the front uh, crash. What do you call crash it? Bar, crash, crash, bar, support. crash support, yeah. I am happy to say that the majority of all of our holes are covered, except for maybe like a half a hole here or there, which means that we are not gonna be able to go with the original paint on the car and do red like I was wanting to, um, which does suck, but not a huge, huge deal. Next thing that we're gonna be working on is most likely getting the rear put on, getting all of these holes filled, and then after that, we're gonna sand them all flat, get everything prepped and ready for wrap. And I think we came up with an idea. What I gotta go pick the McLaren up from Atlanta anyways, because it's still over there getting its stuff done and finished up with some secrets. But anyway, we'll take it all to Atlanta, get it all wrapped. I'm gonna take some wrap back with me from Atlanta, wrap the rest of the car, the doors, the roof, pillars, hood, trunk and then after that we should be able to put it all back together um but long story short whenever this thing is done it is going to be way cooler than what i intended it to be so this is how you turn a bad situation into something good with that being said guys i think that's gonna be a wrap for today's video really i don't know anything else that we can do we unboxed the entire kit we showed you guys every piece that we got got everything cut got everything test fit on the front end the back is going to be pretty straightforward the side skirts we're not going to be able to test fit with uh it being on a two post because it's too close so we'll do that at another time but anyways so far this thing is coming out pretty damn good and I'm truly excited about it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like on this video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you want to see more. For now, see you guys next video.